So Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has made heads explode on the left because he got out there and said, um, you know what? You silenced me for all these years. This is what happens. Here's a taste of what he said during his announcement yesterday, SOT 7. This is what happens when you censor somebody for 18 years. I got a lot to talk about. They shouldn't have shut me up that long. Because now I'm going to really let loose on them for the next 18 months. They're going to hear a lot from me. This is what happens when you ban somebody from speaking out. They run for president, so I assume I'm about to get your announcement. You're you're in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I uh, I uh, I'll let I'll let other people uh, go into that uh, lines then. Um, but you and he are uh, similarly situated in that way, right? I mean, you you were treated much as he was, just as a you know a purveyor of disinformation, one who cannot be heard from, one who the Biden White House said must be shut up. Yes. Well, now I've sued, uh, you know, I've sued Joe Biden. I've sued uh, several officials in the White House and I've sued a couple of Pfizer uh, board members, including the yep. uh, the chairman of the company. Um, so we'll that. see. And by the way, the, the you know, the news of the lawsuit effectively has been censored. Uh, the the you know, the, the media will not report on it, even though, you know, it builds on my successful lawsuit against Twitter. And even though I, uh, you know, I have hard evidence presented in the suit that the White House specifically demanded in 2021 that Twitter ban me and that, uh, you know, that a, a board member at Pfizer named Scott Gottlieb also got involved and demanded that I be banned. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. it's really stunning. As I wrote last week on, on Unreported Truths on the Substack, if, if let's say in, in 2020, the same thing had happened with Trump, because, you know, in 2020, I was writing a lot about school closures and writing about how the lockdowns were a mistake and uh, masks didn't work. Let's say that the Trump administration had gotten mad at me about that. And Jared Kushner had gone to uh, to Twitter and said, hey, you got to get this guy off. You know, he's telling people not to wear masks and that's really wrong. And then Twitter had banned me. And let's say that I would figured that out and I'd gotten hard evidence and I'd sued the Trump administration. I mean, that would have been, Megan, you can imagine, it would have been a huge front page story. And there would have been talk about how Trump hates the First Amendment and this is immoral and how can we prevent a journalist from speaking? And I mean, really, it is exactly the same thing. It's just a year later, and I was really talking about vaccines, or not not even, uh, I don't call the mRNA shots vaccines. They are not traditional vaccines. I was talking about the mRNA shots from Pfizer and Moderna, and, you know, the White House and Pfizer went to Twitter, pushed on me, or, you know, pushed them to ban me, and, and ultimately Twitter did. And that story, I mean, aside from the conservative media, has just been completely ignored. Mm -hmm. Well, it's crazy because this is not the only lawsuit like that now pending against the Biden administration. There's one brought by Missouri, by Louisiana, against the Biden administration for doing the same. And interestingly, that one got past motion practice and is in discovery right now. Yes. So these they've been getting really interesting documents from the Biden. That's why Fauci had to sit for a deposition in that yes. in the context of that case, which is alleging the same kind of thing. And we've had yes. some press reaction to that one, which I was looking at prior to you coming on. And I, I had to say I was, you know, horrified, but also slightly bemused by it, Alex, where um, Reason did a great write-up of some of the reaction, including from the New York Times, when they saw this lawsuit followed by the AGs of Missouri and Louisiana. Uh, they point out New York Times reporter Stephen Lee Myers, quoting now from Reason's uh, 29223 piece, the law, he's warning, the New York Times is, that the lawsuit could disrupt the Biden administration's already struggling efforts to combat disinformation. This guy, Stephen Lee Myers, worries that the First Amendment has become, for better or worse, a barrier to virtually any government efforts to stifle a problem that, in the case of a pandemic, threatens public health, and in the case of integrity of elections, even democracy itself. You see, that pesky First Amendment is so annoying when one is trying to be a democracy. I, I mean, doesn't the New York Times get the joke here? Like, they, they, they don't exist in a country that doesn't have, a, you know, strong press freedoms and the First Amendment. It It is just bizarre to me to see journalists calling for censorship. And they've done it sort of more and more explicitly in the last couple of years. It's It's really odd. 
Now that it's spring, it's time to get outside and enjoy your backyard. But does your backyard need a little makeover? Start with the perfect centerpiece, a Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas. A Michael Phelps Swim Spa can transform your backyard into an oasis. The Swim Spa is an alternative to a pool with the therapy of a hot tub. Michael Phelps Swim Spas have a water current, so you can swim, you can do aquatic exercises, and just have fun with the kids. And because it's heated, you can choose your perfect water temperature and use it all year long in any climate. Michael Phelps Swim Spas by Master Spas come in a variety of sizes to complement almost any yard, even if it's a small one. And this is not a long, intimidated project. In fact, delivery and installation can take less than a day once your space is ready. Michael Phelps Swim Spas are 100% made in the USA by Master Spas, the world's largest swim spa manufacturer. You are going to love your Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas. Go to masterspas.com, put in the promo code MK to save $1,000 on a Michael Phelps Swim Spa or $500 on a Master Spas hot tub. That's masterspas.com, promo code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.